Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 84 says the graph of a quadratic function y equals f of x is shown in the xy plane. You can see that here. Which of the following statements about f must be true indicate all such statements? So there may be more than one right answer here. So A says f has no real roots and we know that has to be true because there are no x-intercepts here. So if there's no x-intercepts um, meaning the graph does not cross or touch the x-axis, then we know that there can be no real roots. Now, there will be roots. They just won't be real. They'll be complex, uh, and they'll have that little imaginary number i involved in there, the square root of negative 1. So, but this one has no real roots. Uh, choice B says f has a positive leading coefficient, and we know that that must be true as well, because of the end behavior of this graph, okay? Notice how this parabola opens up, okay? If it opens up, then it, the, the quadratic will have a positive leading coefficient, okay? So we know this is true um, bec uh, because, well, I just noticed I wrote no real roots here. What I meant to say is no x-intercepts. Um, so f has a positive leading coefficient because it opens up, okay? So since the parabola opens up, we know that the, um, the leading coefficient must be positive. What I mean by opening up is your parabola will either open up, meaning like it's making like a U shape, or it's opening down, meaning um, it's, it's like an upside down U shape. So when you have a parabola that opens up, that means that you are going to have um, you're going to have a positive leading coefficient. If I can spell here. Coefficient. That doesn't look right. Is that right? Okay. And then if it opens down, meaning like if the parabola is facing downwards like this, then you'll have a negative leading coefficient. Okay. Um, yeah, so the last uh, the last one says the domain and range of f are all real numbers. That's going to be false, okay? Now the domain is, the domain uh, consists of all the possible x values, and there's no limitation on a quadratic function like this um, that indicates that there, you know, is going to be a hole or an asymptote or anything that's going to be undefined, any x value that'll make the function undefined. We don't have anything like that. So the range, though, uh, the range is not all real numbers, Okay, the range is the y values, and we can see that there's no coordinates down here, right? So there is a minimum value. So there are some y values uh, that are not defined for this function. And so the range is not all real numbers. It's going to be something like y is greater than or equal to uh, whatever number this is. Okay, so that's it for number 84. Thanks for watching, and you all have a great day.